So I just want to do a little comparison between my old helmet, my old motovlog helmet and this motovlog helmet. Um, but not really for a motovlog, just because those were the helmets that had Bluetooth. Um, so this helmet likes to eat at your ears, the helmet I'm wearing now. So we're comparing a 200 and $70 helmet. Oh, I hate this mic, bro. I gotta fix this shit. The $270 helmet to a $700 helmet. Um, you know, when it's all said and done with buying all the pieces for it. So, yeah, you're taking a huge hit if you go with the $700 helmet. Uh, but I will say it's worth it, and here's why. Um, now I'm not going to get into the specs like hardcore, or this, this, and that, you know, this many feet, Bluetooth connection, and shit like that, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll do the basics of what, you know, our average consumer is going to want to know. Uh, first off, comfortability. The old helmet I had, which was the Built Techno, um, the Built Techno, not comfy at all. Well, okay, it fit fine, very snug. Uh, fits small so go up a size very comfortable for the first hour of riding anything past that you want to um, you want to die pretty much um, you know it's unbearable to it well I wouldn't say unbearable it's just <clears throat> you know very you're gonna be in a mood let's say that you're not gonna be happy whereas this helmet I can ride all day long with this helmet and uh, no issues I, I will say the only issue with this is um they have like a little hole where you can put the speakers in for your for your Senna, uh, but it's a shitty fucking hole. It's not deep enough, and uh, I have the the Senna Evo S or whatever 20S Evo, and um, you know I I couldn't use the sticky pads for the Velcro because that pushed them out. So I I took my double-sided Gorilla tape and uh, put them in there, and even then it still rubs against my ears a little bit unless I find the perfect sweet spot which very rarely happens. So you expect your ears to get f***ed up. You know, my ears were sore for a week until I switched over to putting them in the in the wells with um, Gorilla Tape. Um, so you can expect that. Um, price, you know, obviously when it comes down to it, if you're a cheap mother like I am, um, then you'd probably want the, the built Techno helmet. However, I ride enough to the point where I could justify getting a $700 helmet because there are ample amount of times even like right now it's it's December 3rd and you know I'm still riding I ride year round so for me I need that comfortability I need that wind protection that's the other thing about when it comes to you know uh, you, you, you pay for what you get I, there's hardly any wind noise I wouldn't say hardly but comparatively the wind noise is almost non-existent, um, so that's a plus. The sound quality of the music is better just due to the fact that outside noise is reduced. So y you are really paying for what you get, but again, if you are a cheap get the techno if you cannot spend $700. Um, it's great, you know, especially if you are looking to um, have a, not even moto vlog. I mean, it's just smart to have a GoPro on your helmet anyway, because I ass out here so you know if, if you're looking to get a GoPro 2 maybe go with the Techno I mean I didn't buy all my shit at once I'll tell you that I, I had to slowly you know acquire all the little pieces I needed to make this helmet um, all together the helmet I'm using now is about with like if I have my whole vlogging set up on almost a thousand dollars um seven eight nine yeah easily a thousand dollars so it's not cheap but 
if you're in the market for a helmet get the get the techno um and you know slowly save up for for a showy i didn't even tell you what helmet i have I, i'll probably put it uh, a picture of them up in the beginning you know of comparing them because honestly i don't even know what model this is i got it on sale for for like 500 dollars um so in terms of price you know if you don't mind it get this one um what else should i say so we went over comfortability went over price um style to be honest with you the techno the built techno looks like shit um unless you put one of them visors on that i like um you know the the, the showies just look better at first i didn't like the look of this helmet but the more i rode with it and the more i caught myself in reflections of cars or you know storefronts i was like damn this helmet is i like this helmet so it, it's the styling on a show is better um and and so accessories too let's get on to that I, I forgot to mention that with price the accessories um you know if you want a new lens for the um if you want a new lens for the techno dude it's 25 bucks for you know a uh, a smoke mirror style visor however if you want one for this showy it's like a hundred dollars 75 hundred dollars and if i want the um transitioning lens it's like 200 dollars or some shit which that i can understand but really really 75 to 100 for just a, a lens that's got some tint i mean come on dude um so that's another thing to be considerate of if you know you go through them fairly quick however i will say that i would much rather not buy an extra tint tinted uh visor and just rock sunglasses under here because they give you this anti-fog uh inner thing and bro you do not fog at all it's cold I, i've ridden on 35 degree days and i'm <sighs> blowing on my mask or blown on my visor and I'm not getting any fog um it's fantastic um so we went over price went over accessories uh went over comfortability so what else is there I went over styles it's considering with the styles we can go over the airflow airflow is a bit better than the techno um but I, I've definitely noticed that I can't <laughs> be honest with you I can't feel too much of differences between them um like even the techno when i would use airflow versus when i wouldn't i couldn't really tell much of a difference between having them open or not besides very very cold days other than that you know i couldn't tell so if you are someone that's into the airflow i would say that the, the showy has a bit more of a difference when it comes to opening the vents versus closing them um so that's something to consider um trying to figure what else we can really talk about this helmet it's just overall a good helmet uh, Shelly is definitely worth the investment. It's like a whole new, it's, it's almost like you never put a helmet on before once you put one of these on. Um, I put one of the very, very expensive ones on, like the thousand dollar helmets, and oh my god. When I tell you that was like on top of my head, like if my head could get off, that's what that felt like. And I am most definitely getting one of those in the future. There is not a single doubt in my mind, not a single thing anyone else can say to make me not get one of those when I'm a bit older um, and, you know, save up the money. I wouldn't say a bit older, but overall, it's just nice to be back on the bike. I just, you know, wanted a title for this video so it wasn't just me riding around because, let's be honest, who the f wants to see that? I'm sure a couple people out there would watch, you know, someone just riding around without them talking. Especially with my disgusting voice, but you know, maybe some people want to know the differences between cheap and not cheap, not so cheap helmets. Not that I'm an expert, but coming from a consumer point of view, I believe that my input's still quite valuable. Um, especially being that I'm a college student and I'm shopping on a budget, so. You know, I can relate to a lot of the younger crowds out there. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to compare is that this helmet is um, not modular, which I did not like initially, but I got over it. Um, you know, 
if you're into modulars and you don't like full face, uh, Shohees doesn't really have modulars. Not that I saw. Um, but what I will say is if you like modular and you don't like full face, um, the regular full face helmets are safer. You have less pieces that can really break on you because you have all the moving pieces you gotta worry about breaking on the modular helmets. And you know, if you are gonna put a GoPro on there, I personally know from experience that the modular ones are a bit more of a bitch to deal with. Cause you know, if you go to flip it up and you have your your, your wires all hooked up to your GoPro for your like your audio adapter to put a lapel, uh, lapel mic up to it, it's, you know, it out. And now you got a bent um, audio jack. So it's, you know, the full face, you don't really run that risk of ripping it. And it's, to be honest with you, it's easier to install on here than a modular helmet. I didn't have to think as much about where to put the wires. Um, but yeah, we're going to uh, Primal Nutrition to go get us a drink. Yo! Just finished my project. Just finished my project. Yeah! Well, got my caffeine fixed for today. Alright, time to go get some eggy nog. Oh yeah! Love me some eggnog. Mmm. 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 Eggnog. <sighs> Gonna get some booze. That's what I like to do. Gonna get some booze. Well, how about you?